Hello everybody and welcome back to Vitally Veg. As you can see, we got some new lighting in here, which is super awesome. So now you guys can see me better. Yay! Anyway, on today's episode, we are going to make a delicious and mouthwatering vegan falafel burger. This recipe is healthy, it's delicious, and it's pretty easy. Let's get started. All right, to start here, I have one lemon, three large cloves of garlic, half a red onion, and a large handful of cilantro. I'm gonna go ahead and just roughly chop those so that I have a half a cup of onion and about a half a cup of cilantro. And then we're going to go ahead and just take that lemon and set it off to the side for now. All right, in a large bowl or in a large food processor, I'm gonna add one drained 15.5 ounce can of chickpeas. Then I'm going to add all the vegetables I just chopped, minus the lemon. Once that's done, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of parsley that's chopped. And then I'm going to add about a cup of spinach. After that, I have about a half a tablespoon of ground coriander here, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. Next, I'm going to add a half a cup of chickpea flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. After that, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze about a tablespoon of lemon juice into here, like so. And then I'm going to zest about a teaspoon of lemon zest, just like that. All right, once we're done zesting, I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter of a cup of olive oil or aquafaba if you are whole food plant-based. Then I'm gonna salt this to taste and add some freshly ground black pepper to taste as well. All right, if you have a food processor, you can add all of the chickpea flour that is in the recipe at this point and blend it, but because I have an immersion blender, we're gonna have to stir the rest of that in separate, so go ahead and just blend what you have until smooth on high, until it looks like that, and that's a little bit too thin, so that's why we're gonna add the rest of the chickpea flour now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir in about two-thirds of a cup more of chickpea flour, just like that. And that way we can get the texture that we want. You're lucky if you have a food processor. All right, and that's the finished batter. It should look like that blended either way. All right, on to making the patties. So here I have a five and a half by five and a half inch piece of parchment paper that I've cut. I've cut 12 squares in total. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some chickpea flour down. And then I'm going to take about a quarter of a cup of falafel batter and plop it on the piece of paper, like so. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some more chickpea flour on top. And the whole reason we're doing this is so that the batter doesn't stick. If you have wax paper, that's even better, but I would still sprinkle some chickpea flour down just to be safe. So after you kind of round that out a bit like I just did, go ahead and take your other piece of parchment paper and just use the palm of your hand to form it into a patty. And just for a visual, I'm going to show you guys that it does not stick and that's what we want. So go ahead and put the piece of paper back on, make six of those, and use up all the batter. And after that, freeze those for at least two hours so that they can set. All right, the patties have set and it's dinner time. So now I'm going to cut up the toppings. Just got some red onion slices, cucumber, and some romaine lettuce here. Once you've prepped that, preheat whatever way you're cooking. I'm gonna be grilling today, so I'm preheating that to medium high. I'm gonna spray my grill down just to grease it. And I'm just gonna plop the patties on like so. I'm just gonna make four today. All right, so let those cook for three to five minutes on each side or until they are cooked through in the middle and they have nice grill marks just like that. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to construct. So first I have a toasted vegan bun here and I have my tzatziki recipe in the recipe and that's what I'm putting on both sides of the bun. I would definitely not opt out on that. 
It is so good. Next, I'm gonna take a couple of my cucumber slices, put those down, romaine lettuce. You could do spinach as well if you want more of that. Um, I hate tomatoes, so I did not put them on. I know it's sad, I'm a chef and I don't like tomatoes sometimes, but it's fine. And I've got my red onion slices. I'm just gonna put those on top. And optionally, I have some vegan feta here, which I think makes this really, really good. So go ahead and just put the lid on like that. And honestly, these are so filling, we didn't make any side with them. Anyway, serve those while hot and enjoy. All right, you guys, that was my recipe for my vegan falafel burgers. I hope you guys try this out and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out vitallyveg.com for more recipes. I'll see you guys next time.